with KHO and two weather, Kamaka Pili. Aloha po ono. Happy Saturday. The weekend has kicked off on a great note with pretty stable conditions stretching across all the islands. And tomorrow we're going to be seeing the greatest chance of showers, which means the most damp opportunity to be on the windward side of the island of Hawaii. We're seeing scattered showers throughout the day. Mostly cloudy skies, unfortunately, will be lingering over the east. For the Kona Coast, we see likely showers during the afternoon. But for the rest of the island chain, it's really going to be scattered showers focusing over windward side thanks to these moderate trade winds which continue to breeze right through the islands. So for the threats tomorrow, slightly elevated again, this threat for Ua will be mainly for Hawaii Island and our ocean conditions as the windier prone areas towards the east as in terms of the waters remain under a small craft advisory that goes up until Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. Now with our, speaking of our oceans, we do have some fun-sized waves across the islands here on Oahu. We're seeing around two to four footers up north, one to three for the west, two to four along with the south and towards the east and the east may be a little more choppy compared to the rest because we do have this more definite uh, a definite easterly flow with our trade winds a little more easterly than uh, on average and that has to do with a disturbance that continues to linger towards the west of the island chain and that's what's pushing over some high cloud coverage especially for this evening for Kauai and for Oahu and we do have some high, uh, thin high clouds for the island of Hawaii and that can give us some beautiful sunsets tonight through tomorrow morning. Now in terms of the shower activity, fortunately a lot of that instability with that system towards the west will keep itself away from the islands. So for tomorrow we're really just going to be seeing again likely showers for the island of Hawaii and afternoon for the windward size there's a potential increase for Kauai thanks to some of that instability from that storm system towards the west to encroach upon the island of Kauai but that's going to kind of just be up in the air. We'll be keeping our eyes on that but for the most part there's really no storm system around the islands that's creating a lot of instability. For the next few days ahead of us, though, with some incoming showers, this is the helo chances that we're going to be seeing new, uh, scattered to likely throughout the next few days ahead of us. But again, for the rest of the island chain, we're really going to be seeing scattered showers, mostly dry conditions. But with all the showers that continues to fall for the island of Hawaii, we are seeing our drought conditions remaining on the lighter side. We haven't really seen too much changes in the past couple of weeks. So as we get into our dry season, again, that's going to be as we step into the next month ahead. We are going to be keeping our eyes on not just drought conditions, but our hurricane seasons as well. With this outlook, we're seeing around one up to four cyclones within this hurricane season, which is well below average. So if you don't already have your hurricane kits prepared, now is the time to do it as hurricane season clocks in June 1st, which is officially seven days away.